the mangroves at St Kilda are dying because they're drowning in hypersaline brine. The brine is coming from the nearby salt ponds, which had lain empty for the last seven years. During that time, the tight gypsum coating of the ponds cracked open. In the very deep parts, it made acid. That really wasn't a problem while there wasn't any water in the ponds. But recently, the salt ponds were filled with hypersaline brine. That brine leaked out of the ponds, bringing the acid with it. The heavy hypersaline water has gone to the bottom of the ponds of the salt marshes and every day the tide comes in across the top of it. Little fish sometimes come in but they can't reach the deeper parts of the pond because the water down below is way too salty and would kill them. It takes a long time for a mangrove tree to grow. By about five years old, the trees might be up to our waists. Out in the salt marsh, there are some small areas of higher ground and the plants on those higher pieces of land are still alive, surrounded by the brown and grey looking plants that are dead. We know what the problem is. We know it's about being way too salty and being way too acid. But we also know that there is hope for the future of this area. It won't stay dead forever if we fix it. But whatever happens, we have to stop the brine from leaking out of the ponds and into the salt marsh. Once that occurs, nature can take charge and start to fix things. Every day, the tide will come in and will dilute the salinity in the water and any acid. Once that occurs, nature can start to move back in. So it's going to take quite a while before the mangroves can be expected to recover and become a forest again. But at least we'll be able to see them getting started straight away.